Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and if you're new around here, we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like, then please hit subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, then please click a little bit the bell and you'll be notified of every time that I upload. In today's video, we're actually finally gonna do a review on the Be Perfect Dream Big Manifest palette. So I've had this since my birthday. I've wanted it for ages and I'm finally getting around to do a review on it. There's so many different color combinations that you can do. So I I think I have a look in mind but I've recently done um, a palette collection video which will be my past few videos and I'll link them down below if you haven't seen them yet and I've just fallen in love with my palette collection again so I'm gonna make sure that I get all these videos out that I really want to get out um, of my current collection because I've only bought one palette so that'll be the only new palette that I will do a video on everything else will be kind of some sort of new some pretty old but just going through my palette collection and utilizing it getting a video out for you because I haven't done a lot of videos on a lot of my palettes so yeah that's enough of me gassing so if you want to see the look that I create hear my thoughts and see some swatches then please stay tuned so yeah finally finally doing a review on this palette I've literally wanted to do it for ages and you know what I haven't seen that many reviews on it to be honest so this isn't in collaboration with anyone so I'm quite intrigued to see what the formula is like because people that I have seen do a review on it have said mix things as you can see i will show a close-up shot but first of all can we just talk about this holographic packaging because it is beautiful i absolutely love the packaging on this it's quite unique and then obviously we've got the shades in here and there's so many different colors so you've got a lot of neutral colors and then you've got a lot of pops of different colors the only thing that i would say about this is quite confusing to look at and i think that's why i've not done a video yet because i just don't know what look to create with it because there's so much and every Everything is all scattered about. I prefer a layout a bit like my Sample Beauty Equalizer 2 palette where everything is very cohesive and simple because my pea brain struggles. Such a different range. So it says that there's 35 ultra versatile shades for endless color combinations. There's 19 deeply pigmented matte shades. There's 13 stunning shimmers ranging from rich pressed pigments, super sparkle shadows and stunning duochrome foils. One matte cream shadow. I don't know what one's the matte cream one one shimmer cream shadow one shimmer gloss shadow so the one matte cream shadow is for a smoky shadow base the shimmer cream shadow is a shimmer sh shimmer shadow base and then the shimmer gloss shadow is a shimmer glass gloss topper maximum payoff shimmers cream shadows and fours apply with either clean finger or a flat synthetic brush which is fine so yeah I don't actually know what formula is what so I suppose we would have to just do some swatches and then find out so these are all these swatches. Sorry, some of them are a bit in a random order. That's the last one. I've had to put it there. They actually swatched all right. Some of the um, shimmer shadows are quite crumbly, but they look quite flaky in the pan anyway. Like they seem quite chunky, like a chunky foiled formula. But yeah, the mattes seem absolutely fine as well. They all swatched really well considering I've not got a base on my arm. Yeah, but if I'm honest, I can't tell what ones are meant to be like the cream ones because yeah, they all seemed quite like normal shadows. Do you know what I mean? So I don't actually know what ones are the cream ones or not so i'll have to look it up i'm really liking these shimmers here they're quite glossy looking unless they're the cream ones but they don't feel like cream but yeah here are all 35 shades swatched and now let's get into the eye look so i've just gone off camera done my brows put my base on as an eye base and because i wasn't 100 percent knowing what i was going to do i thought i'd just have a little play around with it and create a look so then it's easy to then replicate on this eye oh my god i'm so gassy love this so far the only thing is i think i've got like a little patch there i keep putting shadow on but nothing seems to be sticking so we're just going to do it on this eye now so i'm just going to start off with the p louise base shade 2. yeah i'm just using a cheap fluffy brush this is just from ebay to just pat in the base and make sure that there's no excess okay so the first shade i went in with was vibes so this blue shade here and i'm just taking that on a look fantastic flat headed brush and i'm just putting that in a half a semicircle motion at first it doesn't seem that pigmented but it's quite okay to build up It definitely doesn't seem as pigmented as a Stacey Marie palette. 
Then with another flat headed brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Stories, which is this greeny teal shade. And I'm just gonna pop that on top of the outer edge. And then just with a clean brush, so this is just a Peaches PC22 brush. I'm just then gonna blend out around the edge, ready for my next shade. Because it, there isn't like a medium shade, it's just those shades and then a yellow. It's not, um, the shades that they got in here, there isn't much depth of stages for them. So there's just the colors, do you know what I mean? So instead of doing so many different colors, they should have done like a light, medium, dark of that shade. It would be a lot easier. And just with an ABH brush, I'm going to go into the shade Bondi, so this like yellowy shade here, like a dark yellow. I'm just going to dust that around the outer edge. So now I'm going to go back in with my blue brush with that Vibes shade and just put a bit more here. So then it'll blend into the purple. Now with a College Rain mini blending brush, I'm going to go into the lilac. So positive up here, and I'm just going to then blend it through here. And then with a Spectrum B07 brush, I'm going to go into the light pink, which is Lily, and then just really lightly blend this here into my brow, bottom of the bridge of my nose. Okay, now using my finger, I'm going to take a combination of the shimmer shades. So we're going to go in with Journey. So this beautiful blue, bluey green shade here. It's a bit like a duochrome because it goes blue to green. Um, also mixed with Believe, so that beautiful green there. And then on the inner corner, we're going to go with Insta mixed with Lily down here. So quite a combination of shimmers, but I really think it works. So let's go in with the blue first and I'm just going to... Pat it here, them two together are so nice. Now I'm just going to go back in and re-intensify the matte shades. So I'm going to go back in with like the green and the blue. Actually, I'm going to add the black. So just with the Morphe M152 brush, I'm going to go into the black, so inked. And I'm just going to pack that on the outer edge just to darken it up a bit. And then I'm going to go back into that teal green shade over the top to help blend it out. And then with that clean peaches brush, I'm going to go back in and blend around the green. And then go in with the yellow. And then I'm just going to pat a bit of Benji, which is this yellow shade it's like a chunky yellow shimmer i'm just going to pop a bit of that on my finger and i'm just going to pat it onto my brow just to add a bit of dimension so that's the eyes pretty much done for the eyeshadow anyway so i'm just going to line my lash line do my lashes do my skin and then we'll come back and finish the under eyes so i'll be right back so today we finished the rest of my face so i just need to do the under eye but you know i quite like a naked under eye at the moment so i'm not going to do anything too crazy underneath but i just want to run down a few of the rundowns that makes sense i just want to quickly mention some of the products that i've currently got on my face just in case you're wondering and look at my cute little basket love it oh shizer oh shizer the only thing is it's got big holes in it so then it's pencil things do fall out so lashes we've got tl mitchell tatty lashes eyebrows pink honey original super hold and abh brow pomade um, concealer is the collection last imperfection concealer cream bronzer excess revolution inspire powder bronzer is a charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless what is it? Film Star Bronze and Glow. For foundation, I've got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is in the shade, what shade is it? Fair 120. It is probably a shade too light, but with everything else on, I just made it work. For highlight, we've got the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost Wet Dream. And oh my god, look at it. Love it. For powder, I've got the Kimchi, Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass. Set and Bake Powder in the shade Banana. Love this powder. It is so good. Look how flawless my face looks. 
For blush, I actually use the Jeffree Star highlighter palette. So this is the Cavity Skin Frost Highlighter Palette and I use the shade Frozen Prick, so that peachy shade there as my blush and I absolutely love it because it gives it a nice glow as well. Primer, I've got Fenty Beauty Soft Chrome Filter, whatever it's called. And then lips, I've got the Morphe Sweetheart Lip Liner with the Bonjour Paris uh, Rouge Fabulix Lipstick in the shade 01, I assume but this is what it looks like. And then I've also got a bit of the Primark Rosehip Lip Oil. Oh my God. Let me just show you this quickly because it is insane. I have not stopped using it. So yeah, it's a Rosehip Lip Oil and it's got the metal roller as like an applicator. So you can literally just, just roll it all over your lips, which is so handy because when I do have lipstick on, and things like that and I just want a glossy lip over the top then I'll just roll this on and I can just easily wipe it off the metal roller thing so that it doesn't disturb the product inside love it and it was like literally like a pound so I'm gonna go in with the Tills shade to stories that shade there and I'm just gonna pop that really close to my lash line so just gonna use a PC32 brush so a really diddy pencil brush oh and I've also got the P Louise like shmoney, I think it's called, green paint, um, just in my waterline. And I might mix that into positive, so the lilac shade on the inner corner, which I don't know if it'll go, but we'll give it a go. It's not really showing up unless I've got a base on, to be fair. I think that looks nice. And then I'm just going to pop a bit of 11, so that icy white shade, just on a small pencil brush. So that is the finished look. So let me know down below what you think of this look. I actually, I'm loving it. I think it was so easy to use. It was so easy to use. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I did have a patch here when I was adding like the black on top of the other shadows and I think it was because I was layering the shadows. But then after a while, it went. I just didn't have that problem on this side, so I'm not too sure what was happening there. But other than that, absolutely fine. The shimmers are beautiful as well. I did have to apply them with my finger because it didn't pick up with the brush. Yeah, everything worked fine. And I've got quite a range of colours onto my eyes. And I'm here for it. I still don't know what one's meant to be the cream ones because I didn't think they were that easy to tell, to be honest. The formulas all seem pretty much the same. Yeah, so good points. It blended out well. This look was dead quick for me to do. I didn't really have any problems. The um, shimmers are very, very foiled. But then the downsides are the fact that you have to use your finger with a shimmer, which is like most palettes these days. And I feel like some of the shades are very random. There's not a lot of like, light medium dark of that shade to then create a cohesive look and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below um, and hopefully i shall see it in the next video thank you so much for watching stay safe bye